What is going on, everybody? We are back, and I got a, a big surprise for everyone. As you can see, we are 34 and 51, and I said, you know what? This is going to take a long, long time for us to win. So, what I did is I went out and did a couple trades, all fair trades, and I got us a new right fielder. Friend Mil Reyes, I believe is how you say his name. Picked up Brandon Belt as well. And then we ended up calling up Wander Franco. But that's just hitting. Don't worry. There is more. We also picked up two new pictures in Quintana from the Cubs. And we ended up getting John Gray from the Rockies. Uh, these two guys didn't cost that much. We had to trade... Uh, two of the starting pitchers we had, but man, the way they're pitching, it's like we got to make, you know, we got to make some changes. Same with the hitting, you know. Uh, we had a lot of center fielder prospects. We still have about three or four center fielder prospects as it is, and you you got to use them. You know, you can't have five center fielders in the major, so you got to trade them. Uh, you got to trade them for something you can use. So. Let's let's see how this next month goes. Granted, we are 34 and 51, so we are 17 games back of 500. We are 15 and a half games back of first place. So let's let's just see how we go here. So we're just gonna send to the All Star break, see what we do. Anyone make it the home run derby from the team? Ha! Not even close. So someone did make the All Star game. Let's see who made it. Oh, we can uh, we can not see who made it. I thought there was a different way to see who made the All Star. There we go. There it is. So Quintana made it for the team. Ramirez made it for the team. And that's it. So we had two guys in the All-Stars. So two All-Stars. Uh, we ended up going 3-2 and two for that, that week. So we're going to sim all the way through this week. And we ended up winning 5, losing 3. And now we're just going to sim to the end of the month. Oh my god, it's a winning streak and then a losing streak. Oh, big trade going on there. And we end up losing the last game of the month, so now we're only 10 games back. 10 games. We were 17, we're only 10 games back. Won a huge, huge win streak there. Ended up losing three in a row. Um, but way more wins and losses compared to these couple months. Oh man. Um, so let's see what we got. Closing pitcher. We got a new closing uh, closer for the Miners. Uh, he's going to be someone that we're calling up because clearly our closer is terrible. We had a relief pitcher do good. Shortstop, 417. Let's see this. Wow. I think he's one that we just got too. Yeah, he's got to be. That's amazing. All right, let's let's uh, let's see what everyone's doing right now. So the guy we called up, the third baseman prospect a little bit ago, still doing amazing, batting off leadoff. Reyes, the guy we got, just batting 270, 18 homers, 54 ribbies. Pretty hard to get some stats there in the second position, but hey, someone's got to fill it. Ozuna doing really good. Ramirez, really, 
just hitting the ball. Brandon Belt, great pick up there. Anderson hitting the ball better now that we moved him down a little bit, it looks like. Wallach for a 74 overall, man, is he playing good. Starlin Castro's even playing better now that we moved him down. Uh, and Franco is not playing like we would like him to, but hey. Tyler Austin, look at that off the bench. Three home runs and 18 at-bats and five ribbies. That's incredible. Austin Dean, someone we called up, doing pretty good. Josh Naylor, someone else we called up, uh, or we got from the trade, not doing too hot. Pitching, Dallas Keuchel, 9-9. Nine and nine. ERA went down a lot. Strikeouts, 94. Richards, 5-6. and six. No, not doing too bad. I'm not too concerned about win-losses right now. If you have more wins and losses, okay. But I'm concerned about strikeouts, ERA. It's what I'm always concerned about. Quintana does have a good win-loss. Uh, more strikeouts and innings pitched, and just a little above a 4 ERA. John Gray, his ERA has went tremendously down since joining the team. He was at like a 4.99, now he's at a 4.14. Almost got enough strikeouts as innings pitched. And Lopez appears to be pitching better too now. Uh, let's see our closer. Still blown games, 11 blown saves, and only 23 saves. So, and Urena. We need we need a reliever who can go innings, so that's what he's there for. Um, we we're 13, so we only got two and a half games gained um, out of that whole month. Um, but I believe we got one. We got two months. We have 52 games to catch up to the Braves, who were 13 games ahead of us. Um, We we don't play Atlanta ex except for once, twice, two more times we play Atlanta. So if we could sweep them both games, that's six games that we can gain on them. The Mets are right behind them. Phillies right behind them. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough one. We play Washington, Philly, Washington, Philly, Atlanta, New York. A lot of divisional games that last month, which is going to make or break the team. Either way, like I said, I'm I'm pretty happy with how we look now. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked the trades that I did or if you think that I should have just stayed with the team and seen how long it would have take with all the prospects and stuff. But I think this way is just, you know, we didn't play, we didn't cheat or do anything like that. We just did fair trades. Um... And we did have to trade a couple prospects, so let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.